11 spots in a week and a half, so I was super grateful for you guys stopping by. This is what a shopping center on the east side of Indianapolis looked like before and after our TV6 shared its story. Back in December, we gave you a sneak peek at the W Street Shopping Center on East Washington Street near Post Road. But since then, almost every spot in this new shopping destination has been filled by local businesses ready to serve the community. And tonight, our TV6's Cameron Riddle went back to the W Street Shopping Center, where business owners say the opportunity inside is one of a kind. For many business owners, having an affordable shop of their own is only a dream. But now 30 east side businesses are having that dream come true. Born and raised on the east side. I love what Caleb's doing with the east side. I mean, the east side needs this. Kyle Lewis is the owner of Indie Vintage, just one of 27 shops inside the W Street Shopping Center built by businessman Caleb Paddock. Lewis says Paddock is reinventing a side of town that often feels forgotten. There's not a lot of business on the east side anymore, and what he's doing is amazing, and he's, I, I heard his vision, and I wanted to be part of that. Paddock's vision turned a former fleet market into the shopping center of the future with something for everyone. We have everything from collectible shops to yoga studios, photography studios, uh, the cereal bar, CBD oil, um, barber shops, hair salons, nail salons. I mean, we pretty much have, if you need it, we probably got it. Lewis says the W Street Shopping Center cuts back on the cost of starting and running a small business. He pays $4.50 a month or a dollar per square foot for his store, a price that seems impossible anyway. Where else? Everywhere else I looked, I mean, I was going to pay anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500 a month. Paddock is confident that his low lease rates will come with a high return for the east side community. You're investing in the people ultimately because it's, it's as a business owner, you're putting trust in the neighborhood to support you because without the people out there watching this program and coming and shopping at this shopping center, we won't make it. Working for you on the east side, Cameron Riddle, RTV6. And about 1,500 customers came out to the W Street Shopping Center this weekend for its grand opening. This comes as another east side shopping destination is dealing with empty spots that were once filled by national chains. Last month, Burlington and Dick's Sporting Goods closed their Washington Square Mall locations. The property manager says he remains committed to fixing the mall.